they affect every single cell of the body. And uh, the longer they are in our body, how will they repair and growth become real? No way. Well, even all these toxins are even the cause of inflammation. Mm -hmm. They're the root cause of inflammation. There's, there's a minor part caused from possibly a, a, a contracting of nerves or pinching mm -hmm. of nerves or maybe a, 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 a misalignment or something like that where a disc is shifted out of place. But about 90% of inflammation is a result of poisons in the body. Mm -hmm. It causes inflammation. Right. Yes. So, and, and so now they're saying, well, inflammation is the big challenge, you know. Well, it's really, it's not the root cause. It's the poisons that cause it. So mm -hmm. it's, it comes right back to toxins again. So that's, so it's, it's critical. I think we want to enjoy longevity, health, you know, and, and vitality and be in our zone. Then it's critical that we are able to eliminate those things that bring down the body and cause the disease in the body. And you know, when there are toxins in the body that the, that the body can't deal with, it can't, it can't eliminate it, it can't denature it, it will store it, it will tuck it away. Mm -hmm. And it tucks these toxins away in fat cells. Right. Now, there's a fellow named uh, Dr. Timothy Brantley who wrote a book called The Cure. Mm -hmm. And uh, to make the story short, he, uh, as an eight, nine, 10 year old, he, he was helping his dad who was a bug man. And he'd come out from under these houses in, 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 in Florida, <coughs> soaked with this bug spray. Mm -hmm. And he had terrible problems. He had uh, constant migraines, constipation, his feet were breaking out. Nobody could understand why until he was in his 20s and he got into Los Angeles and started investigating. Mm -hmm. And he found why he was having all this. So he learned how to detoxify himself. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is what his book talks about. But it was so interesting because halfway through his detoxification, his roommate came home one day and, and sniffed and said, did, did you have the place sprayed for bugs? And here, this was intact bug spray from 12 years previous that had gotten into his body and gotten stored in the fat cells, which were now being detoxed out, eliminated from his body and coming out his breath, his pores, his urine, etc. as metabolic waste. Amazing. <laughs> That these things were in his body, hopefully tucked away and not not being too hard on him. But still, you can't. You, that's what happens with a lot of these chemicals, and that's why it's so important to 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 get on the detoxification cleansing program, especially if you've been in an environment like that. And besides, on the practical side, why do we have all this uh, winter, summer, spring? And we open here, do your spring cleaning! Because we have accumulated so much dust and dirt yeah. and, uh, from the past uh, seasons. So we do our spring cleaning. So this is like also the body. We have to do a regular spring cleaning of the toxins that we have been accumulating in the past. Well, you know, it's interesting because most of your flus and your coughs and your fevers occur in the spring. And that's the body. Because, and you see, you go to a doctor and right away, those are evil things. Those mm -hmm. are, you know, those are diseases. Well, coughs, colds, and flus are the body's wisdom at work Expression. eliminating all those accumulated toxins over a period of time. You know, your fevers are brought on by your thyroid. It's burning off poisons. You mm -hmm. know, you're coughing because it's your lungs getting rid of poisons out of the body. Every, almost every organ and gland in the body participates in the elimination. Your, your liver gets rid of over 40% of the toxins, mm -hmm. but your lungs deal with about 10% of it. Even your skin mm -hmm. deals with about 10% of the elimination. So it's all parts of the body work in harmony to eliminate these things. I'll, I'll share a, a little story that, that happened to me. And this is back in about 1995. I was uh, met up with a very, very beautiful young lady uh, we were doing a major convention in Las Vegas at the original uh, uh, Aladdin Hotel for our company, a health company. And we brought this gal in as a guest speaker. Uh, she was out of the Northwest, but she was, uh, had been a runner-up for Miss America. Mm -hmm. Absolutely delightful, beautiful young lady. And she sh shared her story. I met her because she had been lectured. She would just written a book that was about to be published called The Gift of Cancer but it's all about detoxification. And she called it a gift because she felt that a lot of the causes of her cancer were brought on 
by a promiscuous lifestyle growing up. She came from a family that was very overbearing and, and mm -hmm. wasn't quite functional in that. And uh, so anyways, uh, she kind of went out and called her own shots. Well, she ended up with cancer, not once or twice, but three times. So she ended up with hysterectomies and mastectomies, and literally they were taking all of her body. Well, the cancer came back a fourth time, and she looked at her oncologist when he said, we need to do more surgery, and she said, no, enough is enough. You're not taking any more body parts. Mm -hmm. And he said, if you don't do this, you'll probably die. She said, no. She said, I feel if I do it, I'll probably die. And he said, well, what are you going to do? And she said, I'm not sure. All I know is that I'm not going to commit myself to, to more surgery. She was fortunately led to the right people and the, and, the, and, the, and the right discipline in that, where she was encouraged to start doing organic coffee enemas, which is a, a very a quick way and a, a good way of eliminating toxins very rapidly. But through a program of these organic coffee enemas, and later detoxifying using products that we developed, she was able to overcome that challenge entirely. So she had been, at this point in time, eight years, absolutely no sign of any cancer in her body whatsoever. And she was right back on target and just felt that it was a gift, the cancer, because it was a call to changing her life. And it turned her whole life around. I, yeah, I'd like to comment on that. I know that uh, when, when I retired, I said I, I had prostate cancer and numerous other health issues. But uh, uh, coffee enemas is something that I started not even understanding what all the benefit was. But over the last 20 some years now, I've come to understand that, that the coffee enema increases the natural production of glutathione by 600%. Mm -hmm. Now glutathione is, is uh, amazing at helping cleanse and detox. And this is something that everybody can afford. And this is something that I like to point out to everybody that one of the purposes that's motivated me to take part in this, and I want to thank Doug for allowing me to, is to, to share this kind of knowledge to where health can be inexpensive and it doesn't have to be, I mean, the, the pharmaceutical industry is making billions of dollars a year off of things that should be sold for a five or ten cents on a dollar or what they're getting for them. And because most of this knowledge has been around for years and years, uh, it, but they have gotten to the point to where they can do extracts from the things that we were using and our grandparents were using to keep us healthy. They're taking an extract and patenting it and making a drug out of it and charging a ridiculous price when if we took it as a natural whole food, like this is where we're all coming from, is to share this knowledge of the benefits of natural whole foods. Because I personally believe that there are thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of unknown micronutrients that exist, that if we take our nutrition from natural whole foods, uh, there's a good chance that we're going to get the ones that the body can extract and use in a natural way that's uh, where they're, they're synergistically helping to maximize the benefit of, of the nutrients we need. So I, I'm uh, really excited about the things that I continue to learn and the things that I want to share with people because I think that we can fix the broken healthcare system in America today with a little bit of understanding of how simple and how affordable health can be with just a, a few products that all come from natural whole foods. Well, I think uh, uh, for me, this show is important because it gives us the opportunity to disseminate some good information because at the end of the day, people can only make good choices predicated on having good information. And when you're well informed, that fear factor drops significantly. And unfortunately, anybody with some of these insidious uh, diseases like cancer, for example, the minute that they're told they have cancer by their physician, it feeds right into the disease because there's a, such a fear associated with it. But you see, if you're educated on what cancer is and what cancer isn't, and you've got all a host of choices other than what we call conventional, you know, that are shown culturally and over the years, historically, to have a much more benefit than, than uh, uh, adding poisons to a, I mean, 
it just flies in the face of logic uh, to treat a disease caused by poisons by treating it with more poisons. You know, and you destroy the only thing that can heal, and that's the body's immune system. Once you compromise that, then you can never heal uh, effectively. And, uh, you know, so I just, uh, I, I just don't understand the logic why back in, when we were dealing with some of these diseases brought on by toxins like cancer, for example, in the 50s, when they declared war on cancer, and that way they could legally appropriate funds from taxpayers uh, to give to the drug companies for research and build that business, uh, one out of eight people were going to get cancer. Here we are, 60, 70 years later, and one out of two people are going to get cancer, and they still use the same chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery. So they've proven successfully that those things absolutely don't work. They don't work, you know, and... Uh, well, you have to understand that this is a business, mm -hmm. and there's no money in curing anything. No, of course not. You know, mm -hmm. there's money in diagnosing, examining, diagnosing, and treating, and treating, and treating, mm -hmm. and treating, and treating, and examining, and diagnosing, and treating some more, mm -hmm. and with very expensive things. Mm -hmm. That, there is no money in curing. So, as we said in the beginning of the show, the only thing that cures the body is the body itself. Thank you all for listening this evening, and thank you guys for uh, thank you very much, being, Dennis, being our guests. <laughs> yeah, our uh, sure. appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Nice Take to care. sit down with you. <laughs> okay.